Uh, moving on to my playoff first round picks, I was not able to make that video here, but I was on the Mr. Vincent podcast. I will post that below if you want to hear us give a more in-depth playoff preview there on the Mr. Vincent podcast, uh, where I went over some things there, and we're just going to look ahead to the series going forward. Um no, one second. Uh, so the Brooklyn Nets, Philadelphia 76ers, that's just the series I was just talking about. Uh, I think the I think the Sixers are going to win that in five. I think Brooklyn's going to be able to get one game there at some point. I, I think they're going to find a way to get a game there. Like I think that's the capabilities. They can also get swept, but I think they're going to get most likely get gentlemen sweeped. Uh, moving on to the Celtics Hawks, same thing. Either a sweep or in five. I want to say five because I feel like going to Atlanta, the Celtics could drop a game there. They have before. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to go five. I don't think this, the Hawks have enough answers for Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum and to battle that Celtics defense there. I just don't know if Atlanta has enough to do so. something about that. The Knicks and Cavaliers, even though game one has already happened and the Knicks are already up 1-0, I think the Cleveland Cavaliers get this done at six. Uh, we already saw the scoring explosion from Donovan Mitchell in game one with 38. I think that's going to continue because I don't think they're going to be able to stop him. I think then Cleveland will be able to improve their shooting uh, uh, from deep. They're getting a little bit more help for Donovan Mitchell. And we'll see if Evan Mobley can rise to the occasion because he kind of had a little difficult time today. Um, but we'll see if he's able to get some more touches, get some more and play a little bit better defensively and just get some stops there. And we'll see what happens with that. The Knicks, I just think that at some, and I did say I give the Knicks a chance in the series on the Mr. Vincent podcast because they're able to have Quentin Grimes out there. They're able to have Josh Hart out there. Those guys muck up the game, able to score as well. So we're going to see what happens there. But I just think Donovan Mitchell and that defense behind him, I think that he's going to get the edge there. Um, moving on to the Sacramento Kings and Golden State Warriors. The Kings took game one, um, but I do think the Warriors are using this series to gear themselves up for a playoff run. And I think the Warriors get this done in six. And just because uh, even though with the road woes, I think that's going to wake the Warriors up, especially losing game one and give them a chance to get accelerate themselves into this, the next series, um, get some rest a little bit, and hopefully they do that. Um, and I think I think they get that done in six. The Kings are playing well, and I wouldn't be so shocked if they won the series. I would not be shocked. Um, but looking at it, I think the Warriors' championship experience is going to show up at some point. Um, they nearly showed up today. So uh, I give them a good shot at winning the series. Moving on to the Lakers and Grizzlies. Who am I picking? I'll tell you who I'm picking. The Memphis Grizzlies. <laughs> the Memphis Grizzlies. Yes, I think they upset the, the Lakers here, the new revamped Lakers. I think they're the ability to get the Lakers tired is higher than people expect. Getting LeBron James, getting Anthony Davis to play high, intense minutes in this situation I think they can do enough to rattle the Lakers, get the Lakers tired, get LeBron tired, get Anthony Davis tired. I think they're going to just have to play fast and gun it, kind of like what the Kings did with uh, Golden State today. I think they have that capabilities, especially with John the open court. I don't think anybody can guard John Moran on the Lakers, and I think he's going to use that to his advantage. He's going to be able to attack, 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 and kind of have a little redemption series here for him, right? Like, all the, all the situations that happened with him getting suspended, all of that. I feel like he's been, fre he's been fresh. He was gone for two weeks. A little break there. I think he's going to be able to put, the, put it on in the series. I think he's going to be able to put it on real, real, real good against the Lakers in this series and attack the rim. Um, but we'll see. But I think the Grizzlies can win this series. I got them in six there. Um, moving on to the Bucks versus Heat, the 1-8 matchup in the Eastern Conference. I do not think the, the Miami Heat stand a chance. And Jimmy Butler is my guy. I think they can win one game. I think Tyler Hero and others can get hot from three, at least one game. But other than that, I don't think there's going to be much of a difficult situation here for the Milwaukee Bucks, even though Miami does get up to play. And they play tough and they play, they play hard and they're going to compete. I just don't think there's any answers for Drew Holiday. I just don't think there's any answers for Gian Santacompo. And I just don't know if there's enough help there to stop Chris Middleton um yeah so i got I, I i got the bucks in five because i think miami can at least steal a game be a little bit more prideful than they were in 2000 what was that 
was that 20 or 19 when uh, they lost? No, that was 19. Was that 19? No, 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 no. That wasn't 19. 21 when uh, Jimmy Butler had a terrible series and they just played badly. And I think that can almost be the same way this series. But I'm going to give I'm gonna give Miami Heat in one game, but I, th- I got the Bucks in five there. Moving on to the Suns and Clippers. If the Clippers had Paul George, I probably would have picked the Clippers. A healthy Paul George, I probably would have picked the Clippers. But because they don't have Paul George, and because I feel like they're not going to have enough firepower, I'm going to go with the Phoenix Suns in six in this one. I think unless we get terminated Kawhi that we saw in 2017 before the injury when he got Zaza Pachulia, um, if we can get that level of Kawhi back where he's just controlling everything and scoring bucket for bucket, keeping everybody off balance because they were up 25 in that game. And that was years ago. But I'm like, we can get that same level of Kawhi or the Kawhi that we saw in 2019. If we can get that type of level Kawhi battling, defending, being a menace against this Phoenix Suns team, then I would go the Clippers. But because there's no Paul George, I just don't feel certain about the Clippers right now. And I do feel like Ty Lue is able to be able to make adjustments in best adjustment maker on a fly game to game and be able to get this team ready and prepared. I just don't think there's enough firepower there to go against the Suns. And now, of course, the Suns, you know, Kevin Durant just came back, but they've been playing well with him. He's the ultimate plug-and-play superstar, right? So you're looking at it right now, him and Devin Booker are going to be able to score there. I just don't see them slowing down over like four times in a row to not win a series right now, especially against the Clippers without Paul George. If the Clippers had Paul George, I would have picked the Clippers. But because they don't, I'm going to pick the Suns. Pick the Suns in six. Moving on, we got the Nuggets and Timberwolves. And this is something I can see where Timberwolves fans will have an advantage and feel like they have the biggest advantage with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. They can just lean and wear out Joker over the course of the game and give themselves a better chance, especially from the perimeter. But I'm going to go Nuggets in five because I think I think this is going to be something for the Denver uh, to be tested with and really try to show the world, hey, we're legit and they can do it here against um, Minnesota, who I think matches up better than people expect. Um, but I think Denver wins that in five. I think they have enough there, and I think there's enough. There's, there's something to prove there from Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, those guys like that, I really feel like they're trying to prove something. And I feel like they're trying to say, hey, we're the one seed and we can go get this done. And that will be it for the first round picks. Um, We'll see how that goes. There's more NBA action on Sunday. Um, We got the Lakers and Grizzlies at 3 p.m. We got the Heat and Bucks at 530. We have the Clippers and Suns at 8 and the Timberwolves and Nuggets at 10 to 1030. Woo, that's a late game. So there are some games on there that were definitely going to be entertaining, especially the early game, the Lakers and Grizzlies. Can't wait to see that because that's probably the most intriguing matchup in the first round there uh, on the Western Conference. So we'll see what happens there with that. Um, it's going to be real interesting to see how that goes. Um, and I'll also be posting the Mr. Vincent podcast below, uh, something linked to that, where we get a full more in-depth playoff preview there. Um, we really had a good chat with him there. Again, thank you for inviting me on the show. Um, really good podcast there, so um, stay on the lookout for that. Um, but for this episode, that will be it. I'll be continuing my NBA uh, playoffs breakdowns and stuff like that, as well as ring takes is probably going to return this week. Hopefully, WWE can get a little bit more interesting, and we'll see how that goes. But, uh, of course, thank you all for listening. Uh, Thank you all for watching. Um, And until next time.